Hey guys, so Chiba here and I'm going to show you guys how to troubleshoot your mods and fix your mods if they aren't working. I definitely highly recommend you guys follow the instructions, the instructions, I know, and make sure that all your files are correctly organized. A lot of people, they're having issues because they're claiming that their files are updated and that they have the correct program and the correct files but when I go into their computers I see that their files are missing or they don't have the correct files downloaded. Keep in mind also that I am not familiar with um, what is that called? A tribute or anything of that nature. So the first thing okay guys we're going to do is we're going to go over the files to make sure that they're correctly organized and labeled. You're going to go into your stream library where you have the WW2K25, EXE, or INI, you know, with each or or. You're going to create a mods folder. Then in that folder, you're going to create a baked folder. I recommend you guys pause the video here. I'm going to not continue until you guys have these files downloaded or labeled. Okay, so now that you have the files labeled, you're going to create a graphics folder, a props folder, a titles folder, or a wrestlers folder. In today's video, we're focusing more on the characters, the wrestlers, the updates that people are having issues with. Create a wrestlers folder. Then in that folder, create a characters folder. Once again, pause the video if you guys don't understand. Create a characters folder. Here is where you're going to place all your characters you've downloaded, whether from PWN, smacktalks.org, Smack Talk Hotel, wherever you guys get your files downloaded, you're going to drag here. So if I wanted to download, let's say, so there's a dirt pack, right? And I wanted to download someone like an updated version of Liv Morgan. So we're going to take the Liv Morgan file. Okay, it's downloading there. We're then going to take this file here and we're going to drag it into the characters folder. Once it's downloaded and labeled into your characters folder or dragged into your characters folder, you're then going to open up cake view. So basically just go where you have uh, the cake view download it so i have mine in my d drive kick view release go to kick view open up you want to get this program here um and then you're going to create a restless cac well not create excuse me first of all let's backtrack we're going to set up the kick view together so you're going to go to settings configuration you are going to where it says default game big target Make sure that it's WWE 2K25 and not WWE 2K24. Recently, when I helped someone, they had it set to WWE 2K24. So everything that they were downloading was for, even though they had the game for 2K25, Cakeview was recognizing 2K24. So make sure that this is where it has to be, not 2K24, 2K25. The game executable file, this is where you have the game downloaded. So, Wherever you have your game downloaded, whether it's your D drive, your E drive, or your C drive, that is where you're going to find your game executable file. Now that you have that set up, that's all you have to do. All these files here will then be created for you. You don't got to create all these files. I saw someone say that they created every single baked file, zero, zero, CAC, you know, and that's not how it works. Now. Once you have the wrestler that you want to download, you're going to go to where you have the mods are. So you're going to go to wb 2 k 25 mods, baked, and then wrestlers. That's it. A lot of people, they will go to characters and try to bake that. You don't want to do that. The game isn't going to recognize the characters. It only recognizes the wrestlers folder. Create the, I mean, bake the wrestlers folder. The only one has target name. You're just going to do the same exact thing as I have here, capital W, R, E, S, T, L, E, R, S. And that's it. Going to hit bake. And then every single character that you've downloaded will begin to upload. 
Keep in mind that sometimes you may get stuck at 96%, sometimes you may get stuck at 30% or 50, whichever all. It doesn't matter. Don't exit out because if you exit out, it's going to ruin the bake and you will have to rebake. It's not going to ruin the mods per se, but just keep this window open. Don't minimize it or anything. Just let it load and then that's it. Nah, so Sugiwa. Okay, so that's it. So next, after that, all you have to do now is boot up the game and so forth. Now, let's say you want to go a little bit more deeper and you want to add, let's say something like uh, uh, Steam Maps Common 25 months baked. Okay, so let's say you wanted to add props, the same thing occurs. You're just going to put all your props here. So if you wanted a John Cena cap, you would put it here. If you want a, a uh, John Cena towel, you would place there. John Cena towel open, place there. Titles, curate a belts folder. So curate a titles folder. In that folder, create a belts folder. And then in that folder, you're going to put the belt that you downloaded there. And that's it. Um, and that's it. And the same thing goes for arena. So if I wanted to say download an arena, I would just curate, let's say something like an arena file or arena folder. Arenas are a little bit more, I say difficult, but they're a little bit more tedious because you have to add every single aspect of it. So you have to add the screen savior, then you have to add the Tetantron, then you have to add the apron, then you gotta, and those files, you gotta add those files. So I will do a separate video on how to download arena. And that's it, guys. So once you have all your folders downloaded and correctly organized, your mods should definitely work. Another thing I want you guys to keep in mind is that a lot of people overlook this part here, the Visual Studio. Make sure that you guys will go to Google, type in Visual Studio, and there are some times you will have to update for the mods to convert to to work correctly. And that's it, guys. Is uh, I hope this video guys helped you out. Make sure that all your settings are where they need to be make sure that everything is where they have to be a lot of this stuff can be avoided if you just make sure that all your files are correctly organized i helped so many people with this with this uh issues that they uh they didn't know what what the issue was until i went into their folder and and seen that their files wasn't organized correctly so hopefully this video helped you guys out if it helped you give me a big like subscribe to my channel it definitely helps me out